back Tommy Gas Show. We're back with another video. We're actually starting this video at night. We usually start during the day. What's going on, Frank? We're picking up the Red Bull because we're heading to California. That is right. We're going to California once again. We got invited with the Hoonigans. <laughs> We bought this Ford, went to test it. It actually ran pretty good, bro, in a 10-2. That's not too bad. Twice. Twice. Yeah. That was a really good race. The Perrillo went a 13-4 on a stock block. Cam, no nitrous. That was pretty Nitrous. good, bro. I almost teared up when I saw you. I killed the lie, baby. You killed the lie. Did everything right. I thought he was gonna break the ring because it's making a humming noise. And he went through twice. Twice. He ran 13-4 twice. twice. So for all the Perillos fans, this guy's actually putting in the work. He's going to the track. He's making it happen. He's still 0 and 3. Still got two races pending. Cause after the fifth day, we are gonna do some upgrades to his truck. Now either I don't know if I want to put nitrous or a cam. The easiest thing to do is a nitrous kit. And we got plenty of nitrous kits, but this guy is gonna blow it up, bro. I just know. He's not gonna know when to stop. You know when you're on drugs and you wanna no, keep going? the red button. So, yeah, it's a button, it's easy. You click it and it makes a difference when you hit it. And it's gonna go faster. And this guy's not gonna wanna let go. And he's gonna blow up the motor, Frank. And I'm not buying him another motor. Oh, it's just like a crack feed, bro. I mean, you just want more and more and more. Yeah, 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 look at this guy, yeah. <laughs> so, we're trying to be safe here. Try not to blow his motor because we don't want to buy another one. We don't want to go through that trouble. He's having a lot of fun. The truck's working. I mean, it's an ANA. You're not beating it up that much. Oh, no, no. I mean, he did pretty good. But here in the next days coming up, we are racing that Ford Lightning, which is the new one, electric. I think that's a for sure ale for you. Yeah. And then we'll have to find somebody sure. else to get another ale, bro. And then after that, we'll do some upgrades. We're right here at Midnight Performance. This guy stays really fucking far from the shop. It's like a two-hour drive. We had to stop at Bucky's and go to the restroom and get Get us a snack or something. <laughs> we are finally going back to the Hoonigans. We got invited again. This is our third time going. We took crawfish. We raced the GTR. How much power? Like 1500. Like 1500. Like 1500. Yeah, so 1700. <laughs> And then we race the plaid. Packing up and leaving. <laughs> this right here is the definition of too crazy. That's two races. And then the last time that we went, we took the Camaro. I told you that man's a liar. So, Suga, this is racing. All of you are going to jail. <laughs> That's three, and now we got invited again, and we're taking two trucks. Y'all kinda already kinda suspect what's going on here. So, we got this truck fixed. The tranny was leaking. We went to the track, it made some nice passes, but it was leaking tranny fluid. The transmission was going bad, it was overheating. I brought over here with the midnight people, with my boy Manuel. He is the king of Fords. Oh, he is the king of Fords, so it was only right for us to bring it over here. The truck is running a little bit better. We got a built tranny by midnight. Probably gonna tune it tomorrow, because we bought this truck just the way it is. It does have a supercharger. It had a built transmission, but I guess it was already kind of fucked up. Supercharger, built tranny, converter. I mean, it has a bunch of little upgrades, but it fucked up when we were at the track, so we got it fixed. We might tune it tomorrow by Lund. I'm not sure yet if we have enough time. I don't know if we'll have enough time. The biggest thing here is not that this truck is going to the Hoonigans. Even though it's kind of exciting, we're also taking Gator. And Gator don't play that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gator don't play no shit. Gator don't play that shit. But there was a dilemma. It came out of COVID. This truck had COVID. You guys know, if you've been on social media, you know the whole commotion, what's going on. My boy Manuel said he had COVID. The motor was messed up. What was wrong with it, bro? Had a little tick. It was still working, but it had a little tick. It had a little cough, huh? It had a little cough, yeah. yeah. It had allergies. It didn't hit the lung. It was about to hit the yes. lung. We were gonna head out to California literally tonight. Like tonight, but he was gonna make that drive. Tonight. Tonight. Which is why we're here. We're here to pick a Red Bull, yes. but we gotta change the plans. Yes. We changed the plans. We are taking the Gator truck, and as you can see, it doesn't have a motor, and it's Monday night. That's we pulled a, up. That's a sick one right there. Okay. And, it and then this is the <laughs> this is the new one. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to Jaime. He's the one making this shit possible. He's letting us borrow the motor. We'll put it back once we come back, right? A little RPG. 
So explain to us what is this because we are LS guys. We don't know what's going on here. This, it looks like a big block. Yeah. Right? No, the big block's coming in. Uh... No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. You'll be saying, wow, every time you use this towel. 5.2 Predator block. So it's got like the GT500 block, billet crank. It's not a build motor. It's a build motor. It, but it's not like a aftermarket block. No, no, no. It's, it's stock a stock block, block sleeved, stock. pistons. They even have like VIN numbers and shit. Okay. Basic GT500 basic GT500. motor. It's okay. a 5.2. So it's not a 5.0 from the original from the truck. It's actually a 5.2 from a car. It does have pistons and it's built internally, but it's still a stock block. They can only hold so much power, right? But it's the best, right? It's pretty much the yeah, best. That's the best you can buy right the, now. The best that you can buy right now for these vehicles is they're brand new we might be putting one of these on the red bull truck i'm not sure yet it does sound pretty interesting if we do that five two we do know that these trucks haul ass because this guy does it all the time tomorrow's gonna be ready bro mm -hmm. tomorrow night yep you gotta test put some of the little parts back in so like i said it's pretty much monday night here alex is supposed to be taking off because we're only gonna take we're gonna take the red truck and we're gonna take little uzi but little uzi had transmission problems we couldn't get another transmission so my boy Mano is joining us now we are taking gator truck this is a fast truck if you don't know this truck it has street credit right fucked up killed oh you can't see it this guy was at Wait, Truck National. Factory Street kill. Oh, this guy. Oh, killed crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the guy we gave the hit to. Yeah, yeah, he got truck. lucky. He got lucky. Like, crawfish <laughs> was coming. Right now, bro. Everybody was really mad about that too. Yeah. Talking about, I had like people talking shit. Why the fuck did we give Midnight the move? But it was all funny games, man. I thought we were gonna catch up, but we did. <laughs> so we we're confident with the tune, and it didn't catch up. Like I said, this truck is no joke. The truck is pretty fast. We are taking this truck with the Hoonigans, so expect that to come out. We're also taking the other red truck. So we're taking two fours, Frank. That's yeah, it's the it. first time we actually take two fours because yeah. it's always an LS deal. Yes, we LS took crawfish. Guys. We took the Camaro. Fortunately, we couldn't make it with little Uzi. This is a badass backup, and I don't know. We probably do some street racing over there in California, bro. I don't know. They said they got a badass street over there. There's some place called Compton over there that's pretty the good. They got some, yeah, yeah, they got some fast trucks. Last time we did a video, we were talking a little shit. They actually took it bad. They took it up the ass. That wasn't my intention. I was just trying to hype up my event coming up, which is October Trail Manager. You do not want to miss out. We got a badass 4x4 class. How many trucks are you taking? Four. He's taking four trucks to the 4x4 class. Five. It's $1,000 a buy-in. It's $1,000 buy-ins. Every truck that wants to participate on that class has to pitch in $1,000. If we get 15 trucks, that's 15,000 automatic in the bucket. Like, it's easy. And you're and matching it, right? No, we have a sponsor. <laughs> we got a sponsor, we're gonna put it right here. He's putting $5,000 on top of the class. So if we end up getting 20 trucks, that's 20,000 plus the five, that's 25,000. That's a lot of money, bro. Damn. That's a lot of money, bro. You could do a lot of things with 25,000. What would you do with 25,000? Buy a lot of weed. <laughs> Buy a lot of weed. Buy a lot of weed and hookers. No. No hookers? No. Nah, 25,000 is a lot of money. If you think that you got it, just pull up. October 15 at Houston Raceway. There's gonna be a lot of badass trucks out there, Frank. And a lot of guys from Mexico are coming too. Yes, we got six trucks from Mexico, Monterrey and Jalisco. This guy been to Jalisco. SV Racing. Yeah, it's fun, it's fun out there, right? And we'll probably make it out there too the last weekend of October. If everything goes well at OTM with the truck, we'll be in Jalisco, October 29. There's a big racing event going on Aranda. over there. Arandas Racetrack. The HV Racing Track gonna be pretty fun. You've been out there, right? Are you gonna go again? Yep. We're going out there. Shout out to Junior from Frankenstein. He's the one pretty much helping us make it out there. And we are planning to take crawfish. So that's gonna be pretty fun. Hopefully everything goes well on OTM and the truck doesn't break. So we can make it out there, but the 404 class is gonna be badass. We don't have little Uzi ready. We do not have crawfish ready. We don't have nothing ready. So we got what, 20 days, Frank? Two and a half, three weeks left. Yeah. OTM crunch. Uh, OTM crunch, literally. Like right now, this is Hoonigan's crunch. Like literally, Perio should be leaving tonight and we're gonna stay one more day because my boy Manuel here decided to join us to California and uh, he's gonna put in the new motor. Transmission's good, everything's good, right? We're gonna do some gangster shit. We're gonna do some gangster shit in California. Have you been to Cali? No. No? First time? They said they got a badass street over there in Cali, so we'll probably. I don't know, we'll probably make it over there. Make a little test. We're gonna make it out there in California. We're going to the Hoonigans and then we'll probably stop in LA and do some hood rat some, shit. Some hood rat shit out there in, in LA, Compton or whatever the street is called. But no offense to anybody out there. I mean, everybody's trying to go fast. And if we talk a little shit here I mean, and there. No offense, man. Fuck you, <laughs> Cali motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>
We'll be there this week. Yeah. <laughs> we talk a little shit, but it's all what you're trying to hype up the event. You know, what you're trying to make you come to the event. If you're smart enough, you see the business side of it. Taking a three car, right? We're taking a three car hunter, yes. So you can bring Izzy back. Yeah, we can bring this truck back if he wants to bring it for OTM, and we already have it here. For we got free. a transport. We free got a transport. transport, Izzy, for you. We are Honeygan's Crunch. Like I said, are you sure it's going to be done tomorrow? Yeah. Bro, this is kind of hard, bro. Look at this shit. If it's not, then you got to delete the whole fucking video. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> Well, you gotta go, bro. We ain't fucking waiting for you for no reason. You gotta finish this motherfucker. No, we good. It looks like it ain't not gonna make it, bro. All right, bro, come on. Let's go. We gotta go home, go to sleep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bro, I thought you were made at performance, bro. I thought you were going night. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Day two. Yesterday, we left midnight. My boy Manuel was gonna work on Gator, because like I said, we're trying to take Gator to California, to the Hoonigans, and I think it's done. So we're gonna head out to midnight again. It's late. Another vlog that we started late. Today, actually, we had the giveaway this giveaway we did the drawing today and uh samuel from chicago was the lucky guy and it was so cool to me it was so cool because this guy works at starbucks i'm sure he's young he's been between 18 and what 20 frank he looked like give or take he looked like a young cat he had a beard on him but yeah. he still had like a baby face yeah he had more hair than me you know some people are just more hairy he looked like 18 20 he was a youngster he didn't have a ride this guy works at starbucks and he probably doesn't make that much money i don't know minimum wage 10 to 15 dollars an hour is not a lot he spent 300 dollars for this truck you know that's a lot of money for being a youngster three hundred dollars is a lot of money especially to invest it in something that you don't know if you're gonna win or not he took the risk he took the chance and he was a lucky winner he bought 10 sticker packs at 30 dollars at 30 entries each so he had 300 entries my boy took the chance he spent 300 dollars with us he had 300 entries one of the entries worked that that was it it just takes one entry to win and uh, he was the lucky winner, my boy Samuel from Chicago. He didn't have a ride. He was using his dad's car or truck to go to work. But my boy now is gonna be riding clean. He said he was by the airport. I asked him where it was, but he said some streets and shit, but. No, he's over there by Midway Airport. That's their big international airport over there. Yeah. Congratulations to my boy Samuel. He took the truck. You could be the next lucky winner. All you gotta do is take a chance. Participate, don't ever give up. I wish everybody can win something. That's not the way things work. It's just like playing the lottery. You know, there's only one winner. And my boy Summer was the lucky one today. But I want to present to you guys the new giveaway that we got going on right now before we take off to Manuel. We got the 350 Sport. You guys wanted it, here it is. This giveaway started the 26th of this month, which was Monday. So everything that you purchase since this Monday, it just passed. Every $10 you spend will get you one entry to this badass giveaway that we got going on. It's a limited edition, 350 Sport, brand new paint, brand new interior, brand new sound system, brand new wheels. Now we do have a dilemma with the wheels. We offer this one with the 18 by 11s, butt neck wheels. It's a 17 style wheel, but this is a little bit bigger. We can either put this or we can put some welds, 22s, the five spoke, the five bar, the real nice, the one that have black, the Venturas. We have options. If it was for me, I would leave it like this. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be one of you guys. Y'all get to choose. If y'all want different style wheels, we'll change the wheels. You know what I'm saying? We won't change the color on the truck because it has a brand new paint job. Come on, bro. We ain't gonna change the red. And this is one of my collections. This is my personal collection. So I'm gonna give you guys one of my trucks. I currently have seven or eight red trucks, and this is one of them. It kind of like, it hurts me, bro. Yeah. Put some sound music. This is one of mine for you guys. I appreciate all the support. We all appreciate all the support and all the love that we get for all everybody watching and supporting us, buying our merchandise, watching our YouTube videos. Every time we go to shows, we take a bunch of pictures, Frank, with the fans. And like I said, we got our tow truck man is coming up. Y'all do not want to miss out on that. This truck will be there. We're trying to finish the 420 kilo because we got a race painting with Perio. And then we got some nice wheels coming for that one. And then that's the next giveaway. And then that one after we're done with the 420 kilo. This one's almost ready to go. This one's almost ready to go. We are gonna put some exhaust. We're all gonna do some upgrades to it like i said this one is brand new paint brand new interior brand new wheels custom sound system done by the auto shop it's pretty much ready to go get your entries shop on the gas every ten dollars you spend is one entry and right now we're on a wait a minute let's go perfect what's up bro yeah i'm everywhere all right guys so last night that we were here this truck didn't have a motor transmission dry shot didn't have shit i guess we gotta thank here the master mechanic what's your name bro mando Mando. I've seen this guy somewhere, man. I don't know why I've seen this guy. Probably. Uh, <laughs> the Gator has a motor now, transmission, turbo kit, everything's ready to go. So it looks like we are going to the Hoonigans, California. And I think Manuel is really, really excited about going to California. I think he has unfinished business in Cali. Ain't that right, Manuel? You're going to see me run down the street naked and Compton. <laughs> 
Bro, bro, you probably go to jail, bro. You probably ain't coming back. We'll see. So the truck is ready. They made a hit. It's good. Brand new motor, turbo guitar, transmission. Everything's ready to go. The Red Bull truck is also ready to go. I think we added a trans cooler on that one because they didn't have a transmission cooler. But this bitch is ready to go, man. Gator. Gator don't play that shit. You you feel me? Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. We gotta take that little gator though. Which one you wanna take, bro? The big one. It's not gator mode right now. See it, the tablero. The boy got his hat. Where's your hat at? Oh, it's over there. I seen the green one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go on its perfect spot. All right, guys. This motor right here is the motor that we were talking about. The motor that was on the plastic bag back there. It's a 5.2 off a GT500. Twin turbos, 64, 66. They look little. These little these baby turbos. turbos. They look yeah. like imports. Import turbos. 10 speed transmission, E85, still on stock ECU. It's a little gutted out from the interior. It gets the job done. This is a nice seat, bro. And I bet you it's expensive. Yeah, the carbon 500. What you think? 500 bucks? Thousand? Hell no. More? Probably two G's. Two G's? Hey, how much is the uh, seat? Two G's. Two G's. Hey, bro, you're missing a lot. Mm -hmm. You're missing headliner, plastics. Oh, it's a grudge truck. Bro. Oh, it's a grudge truck. <laughs> hey, at least he ain't got no steering wheel. The Peru has a racing steering wheel, bro. Hard, it's not even that fast. Street truck. How much is this seat right here? Two G's. Two G's? Oh, I was off. Yeah, you were way off. I said 500 bucks. Yeah, right. No? Pretty exciting. We're taking two Fords. I think the people out there in the Hoonigans, they're going to be pretty surprised because they've never seen nothing as fast as this. No Fords have been out there, right? Like this, this category? Not even Coyotes. I don't think yeah, it's always been seen, LS based. I haven't seen any F 150s. It's always LS stuff. They had a Lightning with a 2JZ, yeah. which is one of theirs, but I don't think the Coyotes been out there yet. Yeah, no four wheel drive Coyotes. We're going to make an impression. Once we pull up, the other one's a little bit more street, you know, still full interior AC. You think I AC? But see, wait, but got no insulation, bro. Got no insulation. What's gonna come out? <laughs> 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 but uh, this one's a little bit more racy. You know what I'm saying? Got no mirrors. It's got it out a little bit, but it's still on the 85, and it's still on stock ECU. How much power do these motors hold? Like 1500. 1500, and the stock motors they hold what a thousand. They so, hold more, but I just haven't turned them up. Pretty exciting. We're actually racing over there on Thursday. Today's Tuesday night. Pero was supposed to leave yesterday. I was here this morning looking at the truck. Mondo's truck fucked up. He was like, man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, bro. Uh, That's when I texted you. I said, man, I don't think we're gonna go. Nah, bro, you better and go. We're waiting for you. Arpuro. Oh, you got a dog too? Yeah, there's a red dog. That's fine. Hug. Hug. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. We're fixing to load up the Red Bull truck. We did change the tires and the wheels on it. My boy Manuel said here the slicks work a little bit better. It's a little less aggressive because drag rate is a little bit more aggressive than the slick. So we did change the wheels. Let's go look at that. Perrillo is actually ready to go. I'm always ready. So it looks a little bit different. I like this look, bro. It looks uh, racier now. It looks, it looks like a race truck. I mean, it's still a street trim race truck. Yes. A little bit more aggressive maybe it's a little dark you can't see it but you can see it on this side there we go yeah i'm actually excited like i said i don't think these guys out there in the hoonigans i mean we're just gonna go out there and have a good time we, every time that we go out there it's a good time this time that we go out there we just want to have a good time we don't know what we're racing we're i don't know if we're racing a car i don't know if we're racing a truck i don't know hopefully it's a fast car bro i want to make it interesting because these things are fast hopefully it's something same caliber as this. Maybe like a all-wheel drive Integra. Like an all-wheel drive Civic, Integra, Lambo. a Lambo, a GTR, something in that range. This one has like 800 to 900 horsepower, small VMP, still stock motor. I mean, this thing you can get on and go to the grocery store, take your kids to school, take Barrio for a ride. I mean, you can do all kinds of shit with this one. The other one's a little bit more racy. The other one has a bigger motor, a better motor than this one. The other one has a better transmission too. I think that one has a trans brake. I was having a hard time taking off at the light with this one because these trucks have a delay. So I got treated by the youngster. Homie treated me. Even this guy had a better reaction time than me. I'm actually you know. pretty good at the light, but with these Fords, they're a little late. So by the time you step on it, well, what do you call it, Frank? Like, yeah, it's like five tenths of a second. Yes. Yeah. It delay. has a little delay. When you do a burnout on this truck right here, or maybe on my Chetis car as well, you do a burnout, you let off the pedal, and that bitch is still going. It's like a diesel truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. delayed. So that's why I was really late at the light. I'm pretty good at the light at the track, but man. It's, hey, bro, it's all right. It's all right. It happens. No, it just, it's all right. It doesn't happen it's to me. It's all right. It doesn't happen to me. Just got you by 13. Yeah, I did. And you going to get smoked by 13. I'm by. Bitch, I'm by.
time. It's go time. Actually, you know what? I'm actually excited. You know why? My shit is going. I was chilling, holding my nut sack, watching TV. Yeah. So everyone's been asking, people in the comments have been like, my chet needs to go to the Hoonigans. So he's finally going. We're dragging that fool to the Hoonigans. He didn't want to go. We made him go. What it is, what it ain't, what it was, hope. Fuck if you show me no love, hope. One thing for so you want and water pussy niggas ain't thinking it blood, hope. Even family that played me soft, no, it's nothing to square off and get in that blood, hope. I'm a motherfucking pussy, every bum that I drop ain't never been no good, hope. In the tears, it don't matter how it feel. If I'm in the mix, ain't no toss up. Ain't no walls, no step in this ring. I'ma dance on your face like a salsa. Really shit, but my birth man, she got me fucked up. You think I'm a falter? And I put that on my big mama Lola, R.I.P. to Mr. Walter. To crooked twelve, this is how I put my hands up. Ask me about reparations, bitch, get my land up. I speak for those that need jackets to comprehend us. Come five, you know me, that ain't no. That thing's bad. Kid, don't play that shit. Stop landing, hoes. You better not put no earthquake, mother. You better not put no earthquake on that thing. <laughs> All right, guys, we're pretty much out. We're ready to roll. Gators on the trailer. Red Bulls on the trailer. We're going to California. It's happening. At first, I didn't think Manuel and his people would get the truck done, but I uh, underestimated. My customers, I'm sorry. I have to do this. I just got to go prove it for you. I will get to y'all's trucks after I come back. Yeah, we got to go put on a show. You know, that's the way we do it. Hopefully, it's fun. Hopefully, we get that race. Friday night with some people out there and uh, but we're going for the Hoonigans that's the main thing and then after that we're gonna have some fun in the streets Gators ready Perrillo and Manuel are gonna be driving 24 hours Perrillo's gonna be driving too. Manuel is not looking too excited about the driving part I mean, he's never been to California too so it's gonna be his first time so him and Perrillo are gonna be talking a lot Perrillo doesn't really talk a lot when he's high anyway this guy knows everything bro you ask him anything you want this guy has all the useless information the useless stuff. everything bro like he knows everything way like history New cars coming out, electric cars, sports. stadiums, sports. I can tell you everything, but <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck this is so much. Reading online? <laughs> Read I just, I, yeah, it's just like the articles. Sometimes I get in the articles, you know? I'm, I'm high as fuck half of the time. Ask him some history shit. When, like, when did the 10 speeds come out on these trucks? God damn, bro. <laughs> All right, come on, Perry, let's go. I'm gonna tell you some <laughs> shit. Go. All right, I'll see y'all out there. All right, later, Joe. Hey, you going back up, right? Yeah, all right. Those that don't know who I fucking be, I'm C H A L I fucking E for the freestyle K I N fucking G. Out of Texas representing dirty motherfucking three, and I'm L E L. Yeah, fuck nigga free. Throw it, bitch. Two never at where I fuck nigga B. Look, if you fuck knuckles back and not a fuck nigga T. Four I P cash it matching a fuck nigga B. I'm from the land of the banging candy paint on the slab. Swang on the ass Big money in a thick bitch with a fat ass to grab To be coming down holding this with two hands to have Jeans handling business, boss bitches get burned They have a color roll fee way, so now I'm strictly getting hell Little bit What's name, Poodle? Poodle Poodle? Yeah So it's kind of funny that we got a dog and they got a dog too so it's, it's like a shop thing, you know? It's funny because they call him Poodle, you saw his hair? <laughs> Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna be taking off to California in the morning. It's gonna be me, Frank, Machete, and then we still gotta drive to San Luis Obispo, which is three hours away from LA, and this is where the Hoonigans Ranch is. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of good content coming up, and also, we got that badass giveaway. The 354, you do not wanna miss on that. That's it for today. Chicken.